Is the Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback battle finally over? After an eventful offseason where the Steelers acquired Justin Fields from the Chicago Bears and signed veteran Russell Wilson, fans were eager to see how this quarterback duel would unfold. The situation took a sharp turn when Wilson re-injured his calf, opening the door for Fields to make his case. In Week 3, against one of the league's toughest defenses, Fields delivered a breakthrough performance that caught the attention of none other than Steelers legend Ryan Clark. Now, the question on every fan's mind, will Mike Tomlin name Justin Fields the starter? Comment below and subscribe for more Steelers news. When the Pittsburgh Steelers made the bold move to trade for Justin Fields in the 2024 offseason, eyebrows were raised across the league. Just a day before, they had signed seasoned quarterback Russell Wilson, a Super Bowl winner with a wealth of experience. Fans and analysts alike wondered, was Fields meant to be the future of the franchise or just a backup behind the well-established Wilson? At first, it seemed the Steelers were leaning toward Wilson as their starter. Throughout training camp, Wilson was the one running first-team reps, while Fields was relegated to the second team, learning the system and honing his skills in practice. For a time, the quarterback battle felt one-sided, with Wilson's experience overshadowing the promise of Fields' athleticism. But the tides quickly changed when Wilson re-aggravated a calf injury just before the regular season. This unforeseen twist thrust Fields into the spotlight, and the Steelers were forced to reconsider their strategy. Suddenly, a competition that seemed settled was wide open again, and all eyes were on Justin Fields. The beginning of Justin Fields' Steelers career wasn't smooth. In the first two games, he seemed hesitant, cautious even, as if he was still processing the magnitude of his new role. His stats reflected this. Modest yardage, few touchdowns, and a clear lack of rhythm with the offense. Steelers fans were beginning to wonder if Fields was ready for the responsibility. Week 1 and Week 2 came and went with no significant improvement. Some began to whisper that perhaps Fields wasn't cut out for the starting role, especially in a football city like Pittsburgh, where expectations run high and patience runs thin. His critics noted that his play lacked the decisiveness and explosiveness that had made him a top draft pick in Chicago just a few years earlier. Fields wasn't just playing against tough defenses, he was also battling the pressure that came with being compared to a veteran like Russell Wilson. However, the Steelers' coaching staff, led by Mike Tomlin, didn't waver. They gave Fields the chance to grow, and their patience would soon pay off. Everything changed in Week 3 when Justin Fields took on an elite defense. Fans were bracing themselves for another tough outing, but what they got was a completely different Justin Fields. Gone was the hesitation. In its place was a confident quarterback making decisive throws and using his legs to extend plays. Fields threw for an impressive 245 yards, including a touchdown pass, and added a rushing touchdown to his stat sheet. His connection with the Steelers' receiving core was finally clicking, and he demonstrated the dual-threat capabilities that had excited so many scouts during his college days. It was as if the Justin Fields everyone had been waiting for had finally arrived. This performance didn't just change the narrative around Fields, it also caught the attention of Pittsburgh Steelers royalty. Ryan Clark, a former Pro Bowl safety and Super Bowl champion with the team, was quick to voice his support. On social media, Clark echoed the sentiments of many Steelers fans when he urged Mike Tomlin to make Fields the permanent starter moving forward. Ryan Clark's endorsement carried weight in Pittsburgh. As a beloved former safety who played a pivotal role in the Steelers' past successes, his voice resonates deeply with both fans and the organization. When Clark speaks about the state of the team, people listen. Clark didn't mince words in his public comments. Justin Fields is our starter going forward. We have found our guy, he declared. His message was simple yet powerful. Fields had proven himself, and it was time to end the speculation. Clark's statement wasn't just about Fields' Week 3 performance. It was a reflection of his belief in Fields' long-term potential to lead the Steelers. This kind of public endorsement can be a turning point for a young quarterback. Coming from a Steelers legend, it gave Fields even more credibility, helping to solidify his standing in the locker room and with the fan base.
Clark's vote of confidence was a sign that the franchise could finally move forward with Fields at the helm. With Ryan Clark's backing and Fields' standout Week 3 performance, the conversation within the Steelers organization has shifted. Mike Tomlin now faces a pivotal decision. Will he officially name Fields as the starter moving forward, or will he wait for Wilson to return from injury? The pressure is mounting, but so is the excitement. Fields' ability to grow into the starting role has fans wondering if he's more than just a temporary solution. His dual-threat capabilities, when properly harnessed, could revolutionize the Steelers' offense, providing a dynamic edge that Pittsburgh hasn't seen in years. Fields brings a different energy to the field, one that could spell the beginning of a new era for the Pittsburgh Steelers. However, the decision isn't without its challenges. Russell Wilson, despite his injury, is still a veteran with championship experience. The Steelers must weigh Fields' potential against the security that Wilson's experience provides. Yet, it feels like the tide is turning in Fields' favor, and the franchise may be on the verge of officially making him the face of the team. Mike Tomlin, one of the most respected head coaches in the NFL, has always been known for his leadership and ability to make tough decisions. The situation with Justin Fields and Russell Wilson presents him with one of the most critical choices of his career. Should he officially move forward with the young, dynamic Fields, or should he give Wilson another chance once he's healthy? Tomlin's history shows that he isn't afraid to make bold moves when necessary. His loyalty to his players is well known, but so is his ability to recognize talent and seize the moment. With Ryan Clark and a growing number of fans rallying behind Fields, Tomlin is undoubtedly considering the long-term benefits of developing Fields as the team's new leader. This decision will not only impact the Steelers' immediate success, but could also shape their future for years to come. Naming Fields as the starter would signal a commitment to building a new identity around the young quarterback, one that could bring Pittsburgh back to Super Bowl contention. As we stand on the brink of a potential new chapter in Steelers history, one thing is clear. Justin Fields has made his case. With his Week 3 breakout performance and the support of a Steelers legend like Ryan Clark, the momentum seems to be shifting in his favor. Now, the ball is in Mike Tomlin's court. For Steelers fans, the excitement is palpable. Could Fields be the future of the Pittsburgh Steelers? His combination of athleticism and leadership offers hope, but Tomlin's final decision will be the defining moment. The team's future rests on this choice, and everyone is eager to see how it plays out. So, what do you think? Should Justin Fields be named the permanent starter? Comment your thoughts below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Steelers news. The quarterback controversy may be coming to an end, but the journey for Fields and the Steelers is just beginning.